Before we start specifically looking at the different uh, addition reactions of alkynes, I just kind of want to give a brief introduction and compare them to what we see with alkenes. So uh, a lot of the same reagents we use with alkenes, we're going to use again here with alkynes. One of the big differences though is that alkynes have two pi bonds and you might be able to do the reaction once or twice, depending if you just want to have one pi bond react or both. Uh, so if you guys recall what we saw with alkenes in HBr, uh, when I add HBr to an alkene, it adds H and Br, this is hydrohalogenation, and it goes Markovnikov, so we add the H to the less substitute side and the bromine to the more substitute side and get the corresponding alkane. It goes through a carbocat intermediate, and we'll talk more about that later. Uh, and the big thing is with an alkyne, you have two pi bonds, and so now you can add one equivalent or two. And it does the same thing. The H adds on the less substitute side, the bromine's going to add on the more substitute side, so this is also a Markovnikov addition, it turns out, and will form an alkene. Uh, but to that alkene, you can add another equivalent of HBr, so you'll get another H adding to the less substitute side and another bromine adding to the more substitute side, and we'll now have added two equivalents in forming an alkane. Uh, so that's one of the big differences with alkynes. One other thing you should know, though, is that alkynes, it turns out, are less reactive than alkenes. So the carbocation you can form with an alkene is more stable than the carbocation you might form with an alkyne. In fact, we'll find out some of the alkynes maybe don't even form carbocations. There's still a little mystery surrounding some of the mechanisms with alkynes. Uh, so some of the mechanisms aren't completely understood, and so uh, in all likelihood you might not even be asked some of the mechanisms for alkynes. Uh, so the ones for alkenes, we pretty much, you know, we have a really good grasp on most of them, but for the alkynes, maybe not so much. Uh, but the big part here, again, with alkenes being more reactive than alkynes, if I've got a molecule that has both an alkene and an alkyne, and I had one equivalent of one of our addition reagents here, uh, then it's going to be the alkene that reacts, not the alkyne. And so if we take a look at our product here, we're still going to have the triple bond. That hasn't reacted with only one equivalent, but we'll have added an H to the less substituted carbon and then a bromine to the more substituted carbon. And notice I don't have to draw that H in. But this would be your product, and we'll see that HBr only reacted with the alkene, not with the alkyne, with only one equivalent being added.